$50 from Moth King 412 who says, Go Taskbot. Also, let's see that SMB3 co op run. We have $100 from Download who says, Thanks, GDQ, for all you do. Very excited for the task block, and props to Oats and Andy for powering through their randomizer. SMB3 hype. It's a little early. We, we need our coffee like Andy does, so. Anyway, uh, we have $25 from Steven211 who says, hi. Well, hi right back. And we have uh, $25 from Davey in Atoga says, I couldn't go through a GDQ without donating at least a little something. My viewership is five years strong and no dwindling in sight. Good runs, good show, and can't wait for our HDQ 2019. Well, thank you for your long-term viewership. And we still have some of those uh, combo randomizer donations. We have one from GM Big Kev who says, Pedestal Hype! There, we're waking up a bit. And uh, sorry, there was no pedestal involved in the combo rando run. And we had $100 from Dasiati who says, get hype for Moldorm 2 skip. Well, the hover gods were not with Andy that day, so it didn't happen. But it was still a great run. And we have $100 from Squid, Squ Squizguard who says, this run is so good, we need to see more of it. Let's hope the boots are on the pedestal. And we have $25 from Sarah R186 saying, enjoying this mini GDQ event. Thanks to all the runners, hosts, staff, and everyone involved for their hard work in making this all possible. OK, well, it looks like we are ready for TaskBot Plays Super Mario 64. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the task block at GDQ Express 2018. I have with me Cheese05. We have a jam-packed block of amazing tasks to show you. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to just start this run and throw him under the bus because he has <laughs> exactly, what, four minutes and? Four minutes and 21 seconds. To say how many words? I'd like a lot. Uh-huh. So <laughs> this is going to move fast. Here goes. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, I'm going to start off right away with like four main definitions that we kind of have to go through uh, so you guys could know what I'm talking about. Uh, first one is uh, parallel, parallel universes, or PUs for short. It sounds kind of complicated, but basically it's just like a region of space located far outside the intended map, wherever, whatever map it may be. Um, uh, and the intended map boundaries that reflect certain aspects, like floors and ceilings, for example. So basically it's like a simple copy of the main map, like really far out that we can't really see. And we use that a lot in this task to be able to like warp into the, in other places really fast, and especially the motor. It's really important for that. So um, overflow jump. Basically, uh, there are two types of PUs: vertical and horizontal. So an overflow jump, basically, when Mario gets sent into a vertical PU, uh, the game checks with his position, and he basically gets snapped back up. And that snapback is uh, is an overflow jump that gets him back to the main map. Um, so basically, what's going to happen right now? It's a simple BLJ to get into the Vanish Cap area, and he utilizes something called a negative jump right here to just jump down into the Vanish Cap area. So right now he's going to do a BLJ on the rising platforms down here, and this is important. So this is the first parallel universe moment. So we change the camera to so the camera doesn't follow Mario, or else we'll actually like crash the game here. OK, so what happened right there? Um, he, went, he got sent into a horizontal parallel universe inside a vanish cap from the speed, and the platform basically voided him out. And then after that, because he spawned in water outside a vanish cap, his speed was conserved from, from the vanish cap area. And on the first frame that he touched the waterfall, we pressed Z to trigger like uh, the stored speed from before. And that allows him to actually enter another PU in the castle grounds. And then in PUs, it's important to note that water doesn't exist. So he's able to just clip into the moat um, because there's no water, and then walk into the, the mode door. Um, right now, basically another instance of a BLJ into a PU. 
Right. So yeah. um, basically, instead of entering a horizontal PU, he enters a vertical PU. Um, it just so happens that his position in that, in that uh, parallel universe, um, relative to the main map, is it happens to be on the same position um, as the top platform where the bomb arm is. Yeah. Um, on the main map. So an overflow jump occurs and sends him back up to the main map on that side position, which is on top of that platform. And it just so happens that platform is perfectly in line with the Bowser loading trigger. OK, dab? Yeah, the dab. All right, everybody dab. dab to the right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that is, uh, in, in the Japanese version only, you can actually dab after grabbing a key. It's like, it's a little mean. Why not? Um, so that's what happens, and um, you you get sent into Bowser 2 from the from the position that you get from the overflow jump. And we need to use one key here. This is the yeah. only key in the entire run. We that's don't even uh, get any stars. Right. So right now he's going to perform a side BLJ, which is the sideways. Basically, it's the same thing. Um, so this is important. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> quick lesson. Uh, quick explanation. So on the 50 star door, when the text triggers. Uh, what that does, it gets to turn Mario around to face forward. And as soon as the text is finished, we press Z to trigger to restore the, uh, the speed that we had stored before. And the frame after that, we press C up, which cancels the sliding animation. And the frame after that, we press B to punch, and that cancels the C up animation. And that allows us to get against the TTC uh, wall. And in that wall, we do like uh, the, the frame perfect, uh, sorry, the first frame wall kicks. It has to be first frame wall kicks. It's important because if it's not a first frame wall kick, you lose all of your speed. So we utilize that and just skip the door and everything and get up to Bowser 3. And now we're in Bowser 3 in four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and now the game's done. <laughs> That's. Uh, Where's time? Uh, and almost. Yeah. On the, um, when you grab the star, it's the time. As soon as you grab the big star. Time. Beautiful. So uh, I try to get as much of, a, uh, of an explanation that I, I could in those four minutes. But um, huge shout out to Tyler Keen. He was the one who ex found the exploit to actually get in the motor door to, s to actually make one key task possible. So huge shout outs to him. And of course, MK Dasher, Sonic Packer, Plush, all these guys. And a special shout outs to Bad Boot, Josh Demon, Jongi Young. And Tyler Keen again. Um, those guys were helping me for the past week on calls, trying to explain everything to me. A week ago, I didn't know any of this. It's, <laughs> it's extremely different to RTA speedrunning. So huge shout-outs to them. Um, I've been, my eyes are open to the task community now, and it's amazing. So I'm so looking forward to it. It's awesome. And as you might have known, we did do this technically-ish inside of AGDQ 2017, but we didn't have any of the commentary that Cheese was able to provide. Thanks, Cheese05. Right. I really appreciate it. If you want yeah. more information, you go to taskvideos.org and have a look. We're going to move over to the next segment, so quick break. Thanks. OK, well, thank you for that one key run. And now I finally know what that looks like. And wow. We have $1,000 from Tails Fox 88. <laughs> Love me some Taskbot. Got to see Grand Pooh Bear and Mitch Fla Flower Power play more Super Mario Brothers 3, hopefully with 100% less broken consoles this time. <laughs> and we are now over $100,000. Thank you, everyone who has donated. But we're not done yet, because the bonus game for Super Mario Brothers 3 Co-op is uh, still just a little over halfway there at $11,478.88 out of the 20000 So it still needs about 8.5K to, to make it there, but I have faith that we can make it. We have $100 from Chris and Rissa. Taskbot is always the best part of any GDQ. Keep up this insanity. Let's get that SMB3 run.
We have $10 from Alex96, who says, I've been watching since AGDQ 2017, and every event has been fantastic. Thanks for all you guys do. Shoutouts to my friends Keith, Haley, Andrew, and Melissa. We have $50 from ShatterMage61. GDQX has made coming to TwitchCon work my while, worth my while. Even better, I get to see the superhuman Taskbot ruin great games. All hail Taskbot. <laughs> we have $250 from Ferris Equus, who just wants to say, hi, Taskbot. We have $100 from Aka Arashi, who says, Longtime watcher, first time donator. I love you, what you guys do, and I love watching the games. I love Get Destroyed in jaw dropping display. Keep doing what you're doing and all the love. And there's a lot of excitement for Taskbot around here because we have a $25 donation from Aklorin, who just wants to say, Taskbot! <laughs> <laughs> Taskbot! <laughs> we have $10 from Play Nice who says, Take my money. <laughs> Speaking of uh, taking money, the charities being supported for this event, uh, there are 10 of them, uh, all part of the TwitchCon Charity Plaza, and they are Able Gamers, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, the Call of Duty Endowment, Direct Relief, Doctors Without Borders, Extra Life, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Save the Children, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and To Write Love in Her Arms. They're all great causes, and if you want to find out more about them, you can go to twitchcon.tiltify.com. It's also worth noting that subs and bits are not going to charity for this event due to logistics with the TwitchCon Charity Plaza. Subs and bits will go toward improving future games done quick shows and events. And if you wish to support the charities, uh, please make a standard donation. We have $15 from the Sticky Stick Man who says, I can't wait to watch the Super Mario 64 run later. But first, we need to talk about parallel universes. Money goes towards making that run 120 star. Yes, our finale game can be made 120 star if you meet the $12,000 goal. <laughs> 